Lucy Sanders and I'm speaking to you from the Atlas Center on the Boulder campus of the University of Colorado. Atlas stands for the Alliance for Technology, Learning and Society and I'm the Executive in Residence. This is a high-tech, state-of-the-art teaching and learning center and you're going to love the technology we have here. There's a digital newsroom, there's a two-story black box performance studio where you can infuse technology with all kinds of performing arts. There are kiosks in the lobby where you can display digital art. And my personal favorite is the tower. It has a high-tech projection system that lights up the night. Doesn't it really make you want to go back to school again? The National Center for Women in Information Technology, or NCWIT, is housed in the Atlas Center and I'm the CEO. NCWIT is a capacity building coalition of over 100 corporations, universities, and nonprofits all working passionately to increase women's participation in the creation of new technical products and services. Rather than have me talk about the mission of NCWIT and why it's so critical, I'm going to turn the floor over to some of our recent K-12 Aspirations in Computing award winners. You're going to hear directly from them why the mission of NCWIT is so critical and why we need the hopes and the passion and the creativity of young women like these in the development of new technology. When I came to the University School of Science and Technology, I really didn't know all that much about technology. I created my own calculator on a computer. I thought that was pretty cool. It took me forever, I'm talking about weeks. <laughs> so when that calculator was done, I was like, yeah, I made my own calculator. I created that program. I put in all the binary numbers and I did all of that. So whenever I can create something like that, that's the coolest part of technology. In my computer science class, I am the only girl. It was quite a shock the first time I went in there. I was definitely intimidated. It was comforting to know that my teacher was a girl. I competed for C++ programming. In that competition, I had to write a program, kind of like a mock billing system, which was a lot of fun to do. In my competition with C++ programming, I was also the only girl at both my district event and also my state competition. One problem I would like to solve is doing with like identity theft. I would like to do something to help. The most exciting thing I've ever created was my robot. I was thinking of getting a career in video game production. My favorite aspect of technology is there's always something you don't know. Then it's nice when you like make something like the robot or if you're doing an animation or a website. Once you're done, you have this awesome thing. You're like, I made that. I actually didn't know a lot about computers. So I was like, OK, this sounds interesting. I'm working on a senior DVD. I've been working with another girl. We have a Gantt chart. That's what keeps us on track. And if either one of us gets behind, I'm like, okay, this is what we need to do by this time, at this moment, so it's on time. I would try to make some kind of way for the world to work together, be more peaceful. I'm planning to be a diplomat. I want to help developing countries, and I know to have developing countries be more modernized, they have to have technology like we have. There's some kind of solution. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to work on finding it when I get to college. <laughs> My family is proud of me. Actually, they like it because if something goes wrong with one of the computers at home, they have someone around who can fix it. They're happy that I can help them out. They think it's pretty cool. They're like, you guys do a lot of cool things. They're always like, wow, that's really awesome that you get to do that kind of thing. The ones that aren't in the program, they wish they could be on it because we get cool computers. They really admire, I guess, what I do. It's a real honor. Women aren't in these fields, especially girls in classes. So the fact that I'm being recognized by a women's association for this award is huge. But my aunt, <laughs> she cried. They said it's so much better than I could. I believe passionately that we need women's creative thoughts factored into the design of the technology upon which our society increasingly depends. It's my personal mission 
and I know it's one that many of you share as well. And so in closing, I'd like to thank you all for what you are doing and what you will do in the future to make sure that more women are involved in the creation of technology. Thank you.